On Tuesday, the Hudson County View went to Bayonne High School to see the swearing-in of the city's new mayor, Jimmy Davis. A laundry list of notable Hudson County politicians were on hand, including Senator Bob Menendez and Congressman Albio Ceres. Aside from Menendez and Ceres, Bayonne High School also had appearances from Hudson County polls free older Anthony Romano, West New York Mayor Felix Roque, North Bergen Mayor Nick Sacco, Harrison Mayor James Fife, Freeholder Junior Maldonado, North Hudson Community Action Corporation Chairman Joe Muniz, Hudson County Sheriff Frank Shalari, County Executive Tom DeGees, County Mayor Al Santos, Assemblyman Carmelo Garcia, and Hoboken Councilman Ravi Bala, just to name a few. Davis, who takes over the city of Bayo with a fresh council, wasted little time in getting down to business. After everyone was sworn in, with Councilwoman at large Sharon Ashtodrowski being appointed as the city's first female council president, former campaign manager Joe DeMarco was named the new business administrator, and ex police chief Robert Kubert was officially put in as the new public safety director, replacing Assemblyman Jason O'Donnell. Davis also had the who's who of Hudson County politicians welcome him to the mayor's seat with Sacco, Assembly Speaker Vincent Prado, Ceres, and Councilwoman Beth Mason all singing the praises of the now-retired police captain with Menendez and State Senator Sandra Cunningham offering the biggest votes of confidence. I want to thank the mayor for his gracious remarks and most importantly, as he said, one cannot achieve the goals and the aspirations of tens of thousands of people in Bayonne uh, by themselves. Uh, they need the help of every citizen. Our participation doesn't end on election day. It is only the beginning. Uh, and as part of that, Mayor, I want you to know that you have a friend in the United States Senate that you can call upon to help people. I have had the privilege of representing Bayonne either in the House of Representatives or in the United States Senate for 22 years. Uh, and I have always found it as I travel the 500 plus communities in New Jersey and many others throughout the country. I have always said about Bayonne something that is unique, and you get the sense of it here today, that there is a real sense of community, of neighbor turning to neighbor, of those who have served the community in the past and are here today to say, we stand with you for a more prosperous future. That's what Bayonne is all about. Uh, you have my hand in friendship, and the power of my office to make my own an even greater place to live, to work, and to have a prosperous future, Mr. Mayor. Congratulations. <laughs> and to recognize this special day, I have had a flag flown over the capital of the United States in your honor. So that I don't have, did not have the opportunity to know you well. But there's one thing that I found out about you, and I'll, uh, I'll say it this way. Um, the night of your election, when I went to the restaurant to congratulate you, as I stepped out of my car and I was beginning to enter the building, I have a feeling of magic in the air that I've only felt once before, and that's when my husband, Mayor and State Senator Glenn Cunningham on his election night. There was electricity in the air. There were people, Bayonne residents who were screaming, some of them crying, some of them dancing, some of them laughing, some of them having the kind of joy the kind of joy that is great. It is rare for a person who runs to office, for office to elicit that kind of hope, for people to depend upon that kind of love and affection. That takes a special person. And I learned that night, you are a special person. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.